I think that mental health has really always been an issue, but especially in the past few years, it's gotten definitely a lot worse. I do think there is a mental health crisis. Yeah, there definitely is. Yeah. Like even if you just look at the numbers, like suicides are up and then checking ins at like mental hospitals are up, everything's up. I mean, there's definitely a mental health crisis, especially with like the internet, social media and all that. It's definitely propelled that for sure. They're experiencing everything that we as adults are experiencing, but maybe tenfold and they don't have the skills to cope with those things. A climate crisis, uh, social injustice, uh, all of the uncertainty that has come from the pandemic. So many of them have experienced real grief and loss during this time. You know, everybody says, you know, we want to do better for mental health. We want to do better for mental health. So I think that's the start is talking about it, destigmatizing it. I dealt with anxiety and depression before the pandemic. Um, but during the pandemic was very, very, very hard for me. I ran into a speed bump going into college and my mental health went down, down during to the point where it was, it was hard to really have reason to live. Um, well, in the past year, there's been two suicides at our school. Um, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I drove to the lake and that's that's like the first time I call suicide prevention for real. And I, I think a lot of people are scared to say that, but. At the beginning, I never wanted to talk about it. I felt insane, I felt crazy. And now I just feel like this is a part of who I am. For those who are struggling, I just want people to know that you're not alone. You might feel alone because you feel as though like, you're the only one in the world who has this situation, but I promise that there are people in this exact same similar situations, but nobody wants to talk about it because there's such a stigma. There's such this feeling of, oh, if you're feeling this way, you know, there's something wrong with you and there's not, it's so normal. I would love for someone to know that asking for help is, doesn't make you weak. Like everyone has their flaws. Everyone's like different. We all look different. We all act different. We all have our own personality. So it's just, we're, that's what makes us us. We can't be like everyone else. We have to be our own individual self. If not, everyone would just be the same. That's boring. Education destigmatizes so much. The best way to really help is like being educated. More educational based things could really make an impact in our communities. And then the next thing is to destigmatize. Have these conversations. Don't be afraid to talk about them. Yes, they might feel uncomfortable and vulnerable, but they're so important in the long run for everybody, you know, not just a specific community. It's not, you know, only these people experience this. Everybody experiences this in different ways. But once somebody talks about it, more people talk about it. And you're able to get to these people who, you know, would have never thought that somebody just like them is going through the same thing.